Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. In today's video, we are going to tackle the remote desktop not found issue on your Windows machine, which can occur when you try to open RDP or MSTAC. Don't worry, it's a simple and easy fix. First, we will identify the root cause of the problem and then I will try to walk you through how to reinstall remote desktop RDP step by step okay so let's go to the windows 11 you can see this is the windows 11 machine here and when i in the search when i type rdp you didn't see it's it's not finding anything it's taking me to the website however when i click on the run uh, run and then type mstsc 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 is the shortcut uh, way to open this uh, Microsoft Terminal and Services. So this is the shortcut way to open the remote desktop console. This is a similar way how you do with the RDP. So you know, when I look into this, this problem, I thought of why don't we go and check that services, I mean, check that application on our Windows machine. So that we have to go to our uh, add remove program. So the shortcut is appwiz.cpl. Let me show you to once again. So you can go to the run and type this appwiz.cpl, click on the OK, and it will take you to this one, right? And you can see here, there is no remote desktop is installed or available on, on this machine, right? Maybe it got uninstalled for, by mistake for some reason or it has not been installed while we were installing the operating system. Okay, what is the fix now? So if there are a couple of fix you can do that. First, I will show you the default way. Default means the older version which we are using that uh, remote desktop, right? The icon you are aware of that. So let's go and reinstall that one. So to do that, we have to visit one of the Microsoft website. Okay, so let's go to the Microsoft website and uh, here you have to type in the search, you have to type Microsoft RDP reinstall. So once you type that, you'll get the first link, which is say, you can see uninstall and reinstall Microsoft desktop connections. Just open it and it says that, okay, so you see the Microsoft Ignite, you can see in the left hand side and then it said uninstall and reinstall the remote desktop connections, right? And this is updated on the 7-3-2024. This is the latest one. So come down, if you come further down, this says that you can see you have a you have a three applications link to install it here first 64 bit 32 bit and arm so my operating system is 64 bit so let's go with the 64 bit version here and it's downloaded so let's click on it and they're asking about do you want to allow this application to install yes and it's trying to install the packages here just wait for a few seconds here because this is a very tiny one this is 266 kb okay it says that remote desktop was successfully installed Good, good, very good. So now let's go back to our add remove program and see. Yeah, you can see this icon is back. Remote desktop connection is back. Now, when you go to the search here on our Windows machine and you can type uh, RDP and now you can see this window is back. And when I go back to run here and I have to type this MSTAC, we can see again the same window is back. So this is how you solve your Windows remote desktop connection issue. So this is the older version of this one right so in the next video i'll show you how to you how to use your uh, remote desktop clients as an azure client so that's the ad, i would say advanced version of the remote desktop right so um i'll try to make some time and create a video on it so if you want to make me this video and as soon as possible please do let me know in the comment box so that's it for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box so thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one